and I'm the last person fighting, you know. I've been improving, you know, as I've been here, and I feel that I have a good shot of, you know, winning. I mean, I really do. I, I, I've watched everybody fight so far. You know, I'm starting to get that confidence in myself that I know what I'm capable of. This is what it costs to be champion. This is what it costs. Can you afford it? Yes, sir. I'll keep pushing till I get there. All right. Make some cardboard walls, because if I, 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 I hate to see what I do if, if Marcus lose. I'm sorry, guys. If, he, if, 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 if I'm letting y'all know, if Marcus lose, it better be fair and square, because we banking on it, boy. I was laying downstairs in my little room, you know, because I sleep on the couch. And I went to go step on the floor because I had to go to the bathroom. And as I went to step on the floor, this scorpion spider leviathan came straight for me, man. Holy oh, It's big, man. Oh, good God. Erase that part. Erase me screaming. <laughs> I think I might have screamed a little bit. I, I, I didn't mean to, but, you know, I, what, what, I, what my plan was, if I screamed loud enough, it would deafen the creature and give somebody else a chance to sneak up on it. Quit playing. Don't don't play with blood, for real. Seriously. I'm just kidding. Don't play. I'm just kidding. Don't tell nobody about this. <laughs> you know, Marcus is one of the uh, biggest, probably most intimidating looking guys I've I've come across. But yet he's he's like a gentle giant. Just kind of funny hearing uh, Marcus, such a big man, squealing like a girl. I see it, 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 you know, I'm a hardcore cage fighter. I ain't scared no little bug, but that thing was kind of scary. <laughs> you, you know what? And I'm trying to change my image so I can look mean and stuff, but it's it's really hard, man. You know, you got spiders jumping up all over you, people trying to scare you. I miss my wife a lot. Um, my wife depends on me a lot, and we've been through a lot since I've been here. She had surgery, she has cancer, and um, yeah. She gets a card every day that I'm gone. Just some stuff to make her laugh and stuff to make her think about to do and everything. That's so, cool, man. You know, I try to be, you know. My, my the whole time I'm thinking about my wife and not knowing if she's okay, not knowing how she's doing, you know. Yeah, she depends on me for a lot, but I depend on her a lot too. She deserves it. She got flowers and everything on her birthday. That's the only person I, you know, truly care to see right now. But you know, this is the price you got to pay if you wanna if you wanna be great. First fight with the UFC was December 27th uh, on the Rashad and Force Griffin card. At that time, Hardonk was one of the top heavyweights in the UFC, the up and coming guys. And I, I think I showed a lot of people my heart. And I think that's what made me have my shot here on the Ultimate Fighter. I am fighting Marcus Jones, and he is just a massive, massive man. The dude's probably the biggest guy in the house, but you, the, you can't. I gotta put that aside and be. Get to position and let your hands go. That's how basic this needs to be. It doesn't matter what you throw, throw it. You got heavy hands. The game plan we're giving Wessel is pretty much to look for the overhand right and look to land some big punches to get inside. You know, no takedowns. We just want to just let the hands go and, and let Big Baby feel the heat from the hands. Once you get to this point, your head should be towards the shoulder, whether it's rolling or whether it's just jamming it. We feel like with with Wessel's hands and the way he moves like like Tyson, he should be able to get inside and land some really big shots and make Big Baby uh, quit. Yes. 
Excellent, very good attack. Now we go forward, there you go, do that again. Excellent again. You know, I thought of everything up until this point of why I have to win. And it all comes down to, I want to be respected, I want to be legitimized. And people go, God, you know, that guy is one crazy son of a bitch and he's not going to give up. I want that respect. It's not easy fighting last. Nothing's ever been fair. Everyone else is taller. Should I bitch about that too? Uh, I mean, yeah. But you good though. I'm fine. Right. Completely, completely fine. Just because I'm six foot tall and everybody else is six six, doesn't mean that always the big man wins. I'm a blue belt too. I'm a blue belt too. I'm a blue belt too. I challenge, I challenge you to the blue belt. No. Yeah. No. Because I bet I, I can tap you. Yeah, I bet you could too. I bet I can tap you. I'll let you because I have, I, have, I, you know, I have respect for you. No, 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 no. I'll let you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I put you on a tongue bar. I, you know, I like because you're a Memphis pimp, dog. Yeah, you yeah, already know, man. <laughs> I got drafted in the NFL in the first round to Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I was the 22nd pick overall. I've known guys who just love football. The Derrick Brookses, the John Lynches, they became students of the game. Fortunately, I was big enough to play it, and I loved the competition aspect of it, but I never became a student of the game. This, this, man, I can watch this every single day, 24 hours a day, nonstop. I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning just to watch old fights sometimes. You know, it's just one of those things where I literally cannot get enough of it, man. It's like, it's like being fed ice cream. If you love ice cream every single day, and all of a sudden you wake up and there's two more tubs, you know what I'm saying, of ice cream that you get to go through, man. Good job. <laughs> I don't know if Marcus had to fight the instinct or not. You know, uh, I can tell you he's hungry. He's, he's happy to learn. How, do you guys see him when he, when he learns something? He sees something like... Uh, <laughs> and me and the guys, we just look at each other and we just laugh, you know what I'm saying? Because it's so funny. We've never seen somebody so excited about learning and stuff. We love it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, man. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, do it again. Yeah, like, yeah, go, get get Zach, go get Zach. Go get Zach. You know, he, he, gets so, he gets so happy when he learns something. Yeah, yeah, I like that, coach. I like that, boss. I like that, boss. <laughs> I'm going to walk the green mile now, boss. I walk the green mile now, boss. I like that. I learned something new today, Danny. <laughs> well, beware. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. was at home right now and this was going on i'd be sick i'd be sick that i missed this opportunity take this fight anyway you want to take it mark you throw the big leg kicks or you take it down i can't i still can't believe that i'm one of 16 people picked out of hundreds come on man me look at me dude i i'm nobody special you know what i'm saying i don't